Let's start with question number 4. So it says the number of polynomials having zeros as minus 2 and 5 is. So as we know that if we divide or multiply a polynomial by any constant then the zero of polynomial remains the same. But in this case it says how many polynomials we can form here. So in this case we are given with alpha that is minus 2 and beta as 5. So we know the quadratic polynomial is of the form of x square minus some x plus product. So in this case the sum will be alpha plus beta. Alpha plus beta is minus 2 plus 5 that will be 3. Then we have alpha dot beta. Alpha dot beta equals minus 2 into 5 so it will be 10. So in this case we are given with sum and we are given with product. So x square minus sum, sum is 3, 3x plus product, product is sorry it will be minus 10. So minus 10. So this is my polynomial that is x square minus 3x minus 10. So if we multiply this polynomial by any number like suppose if I take 5 and 4. So if I multiply it with 5 so it will be 5x square minus 15x minus 50 and if I multiply it with 4 so it will be 4x square minus 12x minus 40. So we have these two polynomials when we multiply it with 5 and 4 respectively. So now you can see that we can have infinite number of polynomials out of this. Why? Because if I multiply it with any number I will get a new polynomial. So therefore it will be answer will be d part that is more than 3. So thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.